Azadeen Alaya inspires devotion like no other fashion designer. Unbound by the industry's rules, he doesn't follow the latest trends or passing fads. The Groninger Museum in the north of the Netherlands pays tribute to Alaya with a new exhibit showing the past decade of the artist's work. What's interesting is the desire that he unlocks in so many women because they incarnate a part of film history of the history of femininity with the stars of the 1940s and 50s. But that's not all. He mixes and overlaps layer in his clothing without making it feel like patchwork. That's the intelligence of his design. One of the last great designers still in action, Alaya sees every step through from the drawing board to the runway. He's lasted in this business by creating high-tech, almost spellbinding styles that defy everything. It's magnificent. He's a master in cutting and colors, a designer in the purest sense, a sculptor. I can't say enough. Bias cuts underline shoulders and waists, accentuating the female body's natural lines. In this exhibition, we don't see uh, bracelets, we don't see accessories, we don't see things like that. It's all about the, the object itself in its purest form. Um, you know, you can see the extraordinary detail, the extraordinary quality, the craftsmanship. From Greta Garbo and Arletti to Sofia Coppola and Michelle Obama, Alaya has dressed them all, not to mention the bevy of beauties he creates for every day. But he also has a passion for art, collecting paintings, sculptures, and designs. He's so ahead of his time. He's been collecting all these prouvé and artists long before. And now, I mean, I, I only just started getting into art in the last three years. So now I'm starting to understand why he was collecting for so long and so exactly. and before a lot of people. Unyielding and passionate, Azadine Alaya is just as demanding as he is discreet. I think the most important thing in the world is to think of women and their bodies. I work for women without thinking of fashion or trends. I think only of embellishing them and elevating them. It's a work I do with a lot of passion. A passion the designer hopes to pass on through an Alaya Foundation, teaching the next generation mastery of his craft.